Word up. I wanted to introduce you to a project that I've just picked up. Um, I'm calling it Sunsafe, but it's a bit ridiculous, so we'll sketch over that bit there, ignore that. Um, so a mate of mine recently did a 52-mile walk, and it took. It started at 2 in the afternoon, and it finished at like 5 in the morning or something like that. So it meant they were walking through the night, and they, although they had um, sort of head torches on, they didn't really have anything on their back apart from reflective stuff if they're near roads. And I thought, well, why don't people have like a backpack light? And I guess people do when they're cycling, but not many walkers have them. So I thought maybe I could make something that's solar powered, sort of taking inspiration from those solar garden lights. I thought if I grab a solar panel, a couple of AA batteries, some LEDs, throw it inside a waterproof packet or something like that, and then sling it on someone's back, it should charge up enough to keep some LEDs illuminated uh, for a long period of time. Now, I realize that to power LEDs, you need a fair amount of power, certainly for some white LEDs, you're gonna need around 20 milliamps, but we won't be powering any LEDs at their full whack. Uh, so I've picked up a few bits to get myself started. First off, I picked up um, one of these. It's a little waterproof packet for uh, mobile phones. Uh, and it has a, a little strap hole on the back and it's got all this kind of gizmo at the top to open and close the packet. And it's a perfect size for a couple of little solar panels and throw some, some batteries in there and some LEDs around the side. And it would make a nice little thing to sling on your back. Uh, next up, I wanted to sort of figure out how much power I was going to need. So I wired up some LEDs with a couple of rechargeable batteries. Now, they are bright enough. In fact, let me give you a little bit of a close up. Now, they are bright enough to be visible in the dark. I've tried it in a dark cupboard and they look good. Um, they're not going to light your way or anything like that, but really they're only there to indicate that there is a person walking so that perhaps drivers will know, someone on a bicycle will know that there's there's someone a bit further up ahead. So it's just sort of an indication. But I mean, at the same time, it's just so you can maybe you can see where your kids are, you can see where your dog is, you can put it, strap it to its back or something like that. I think there's a lot of uses that could be had for a, an easily powered solar panel uh, light box, let's call it that, light box, the sun safe thing. Um, I picked up a couple of little solar panels and these are the same kind that you'd find in any kind of outdoor garden light. Um, these ones aren't soldered together or anything like that. Um, but they'll kick out around four volts um, in good sunlight and about 3.5 to, to four in sort of moderate sunlight. In the UK, we only really get very sunny weather during the summer, but they still kick out a, a reasonable voltage. Um, and in terms of uh, the current that comes out of these, it is stated at 40 milliamps. Um, I'm not convinced about that. So even if we think that they're gonna kick out three volts at 10 milliamps, uh, or possibly four volts at 10 milliamps, depending on the, its uh, angle to the sun. So I've got my multimeter all ready to go and we've got our batteries here. They're currently sitting at uh, 1.3 volts. Um, and I expect it to tell us we're using anywhere from I don't know, 0.5 milliamps to 2 milliamps. It depends on the voltage of the battery. So if I were to th stick uh, three volts in there, the LEDs are gonna be able to draw more current. Um, but we're rocking quite a lot lower than that. So I'm not sure what it's gonna kick out. Um, and we have got a resistor in there, which is a 460 ohm resistor. So it should limit the current a certain amount. So let's have a look. So they are on, you can see that that's come on there. So we're using 0.2 milliamps probably a little bit more than that so i can show you that they're they're working just by flashing them on and off and really it is only an indicator uh, indicator i suppose it just it indicates there's somebody there so it only needs to glow really um, we can make them a lot brighter um, we've got a lot of overhead we can use so uh, these solar panels if they do kick out 10 milliamps an hour and that's you know it's a conservative figure so that's one quarter of what they've stated then we can increase the number of LEDs or we can um, just give them a bit more current and so they're a lot brighter. So that's the plan. Um, I wanna make one of these. I think it'd be interesting. I wanna see how well it performs. I mean, all you'd need to do is just hang it up in your window and find out how much uh, the voltage has increased on these batteries. But 
uh, it could be useful to some people to be able to rig up a, a simple light like this rather than buying one. You could make several. This um, case for the phone was was less than two pounds. Uh, the solar panels were two pounds. The LEDs are, you know, they're nothing really. Uh, and you can pick up these rechargeable batteries very cheaply. If you get the, the really crappy solar cell one, the solar uh, light ones that hold about 600 milliamps, which is more than you need uh, for something like this, then they can be very, very cheap. Anyway, I'll keep you informed on how this is going and I'll, I'll post it up somewhere so you can see all the information.